Hey, what's going on guys? Boosted Whips here. Today we're going to be replacing the stock OEM reflectors with some LED sequential lighting from High Rev Sports. These are the version 3. They come in a smoke color or black housing and uh, it comes with an illuminated logo which is really nice. So I believe this part lights up in white and everything else lights up uh, like regular which is red. I also believe it comes with sequential lighting, brake light, and, uh, and a power on animation as well. So we'll go ahead and install this and we'll go ahead and check it out. The connections on the back come with these four connections, which then get connected to a pigtail. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. Which looks like this. So you'll connect the four connections on here, color coded, red, white, yellow, and black. And then this gets connected to the uh, tail lights, uh, which you probably have already seen this similar connector but it's the main connector on the tail light for an easy access and uh, easy installation so it's a plug and play product with this pigtail go ahead and install the male into the female and the female into the male so that way you get these connected so without further ado let's go ahead and get started this installation going you're gonna have to remove the rear bumper I'm gonna go ahead and start on one side at a time so I removed there's some clips on the bottom that you need to remove and then you need to remove this which is an allen based uh, screw I believe it's a 3 16 allen and I don't know what it would be under the millimeter but um and then you're gonna have some screws on the front side which is behind the tire I'm gonna go ahead and get you a close-up so you can see what screws you need to remove on that side along with the clips that are on the bottom and you need to do that on both sides so on this side as well you're going to go ahead and remove this allen screw out of here there's three screws on the front behind the tire or wheel and then there's clips on the bottom which is holding up this whole bottom piece so um, i'm going to go ahead and give you a close-up of each uh, side so that way you guys can know and then you're just going to go ahead and remove the the bumper which is being held down by different clips from the top side and on the side so Let's go ahead and give you a close up on that side. There's going to be three screws. There's two located here. And then there's one that's on the upper area. Hard to see on camera, but you'll see it, which is located right here. It's a Phillips screwdriver, as well as the two that are here on the side of the bumper, which releases this off of the liner. That would release the bumper on this side. And you can snap off, as you guys can see, there's clips here. It just snaps off with your hand. You just need to pull and snap off gonna remove tabs that are also located here right below the tail light to facilitate the process I removed the two screws that are holding this tail lamp here I removed the tail lamp and got my hand in here to remove these tabs that aren't here which is makes it much easier to remove if you remove this housing you don't need to but you can kind of pull it, it makes it much easier and then you pull from this side to release the center brackets which are located there as well as on the other side so you're gonna do the same steps on both sides and don't forget to also remove the bottom clips that are holding the bumper move the very first one it's being held down by three screws Phillips screws so one of them is the groove to hold on on a clip and then it's held down by a screw a Phillips screw in three locations so that's one two and three you'll be able to see that from within the bumper which is very easy just remove it with the Phillips screwdriver and that is it this comes off I'm gonna go ahead and put in the new one with the cable routed up into the uh, tail light so that way it's not in the way once we position the bumper back in and already secured the pigtail match color coded yellow with yellow red with red white with white black and black and make sure you go ahead and you close the uh, waterproof seal out of here and then we're ready to install so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now uh, routed the cable from the bottom from the bumper into up here with enough clearance making sure that nothing gets clipped once I put everything back as far as the tail light and the bumper goes so what you want to do is you want to disconnect the main power from the tail light from the OEM housing and then uh, pair it with the uh, pigtail that are from the reflectors like so so I already went ahead and I already connected it so you guys can see and then we're gonna go ahead and put the tail light back on. Before I start screwing anything in, I wanna go ahead and make sure that uh, the uh, reflector LEDs are operational. That way we can uh, go ahead and assemble everything back together and we don't work uh, double. 
So we're gonna go ahead and do that now and see how it looks. Hit the unlock button. I have the tail lights on just to see that making sure that everything powers on on here. There you go. So you do have a sequential lighting and you do have a power on animation as you guys can see. That flicker you see on there doesn't really do it. It's actually solid once it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and lock the car. Unlock it one more time. So you have yellow sequential lighting. And when it's on power on, you're going to have your red uh, light. And then the Accord stays white. I'm going to go ahead and hit the brakes uh, just to see how everything looks. And then we'll go ahead and take it from there. Then press the brake and release and then break again and release just so that you guys can see how it looks Do lights on and hit brake and see what it does. All right, so everything's working properly. I'm going to go ahead and finalize the install on the opposite side. Go ahead and put everything back together and then give you guys a full view on both sides. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching again. Like, share, and subscribe as always. If you have any questions, comments, go ahead and drop them below. Check out the description for the direct link to High Rev Sports. Once again, these are the V3 sequential reflector uh, lights uh, by High Rev Sports. So until next time, guys, stay safe. Boost the whips. I'm out. Have a very pleasant day.